back at uh, Hovis. But there is some good news around, is there not? Not far away. Oh, there is. Monarch. We've probably flown abroad on Monarch. Well, they've got another division, the package holiday division, Cosmos, and they've got a third division when they service aircraft. Now, today what they said is they're going to be building a huge hangar at Birmingham International Airport, sorry, Birmingham Airport is called now, um, to service many aircraft, including the Dreamliner aircraft, which is, you know, one of the huge new, new aircraft. Now, they're not going to be servicing just their own planes. They do Emirates, they do American Airlines as well. Um, and one of the important things for Birmingham Airport is that if they, if Birmingham Airport can say to an airline, for instance, look, you come and fly from Birmingham Airport and you can get your plane serviced here, it saves the airline money because at the moment sometimes they're flying them out to the Far East to get them serviced. So it takes, you know, that they're out of service for days and days and with aircraft, you know, time is money. They need them in the sky making money. So this is great news, Monarch say, today for them. Great for Birmingham Airport and as I say, we'll be seeing probably a lot more of the Dreamliner. Yeah, fingers crossed. Great. The world's biggest aircrafts needs one of the world's biggest hangars. And here at the old Birmingham airport, Monarch is going to build a hangar one and a half times the size of Wembley football pitch. The company today said it'll create 150 jobs at the beginning, rising to 300. Monarch has been servicing aircraft since 1967, but aircraft are getting bigger, and Monarch wants the multi-million pounds business serving this new generation of aircraft like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. And that needs a giant hangar. Monarch could have decided to build it at Manchester or Luton, but it chose Birmingham. The airport offered an attractive deal, but the engineering heritage and talent in the Midlands was also a big draw. Well, there was a significant competition, you won't be surprised to hear, for this facility, and Monarch have uh, bases at Luton and at Manchester, and they were looking at other airports where they've got contracts. And we made a very compelling case uh, to win them over to come to Birmingham in, in terms of the services we could provide, the capability, the engineering excellence that's in the region, and obviously the, the deal that we have struck with, with, that, with the airline. The 300 jobs promised today could increase. Monarch won't just service its own fleet, it looks after Emirates, American Airlines and more. Birmingham Airport could attract more airlines too. Airlines like to base themselves at airports where they know they can have their planes serviced and get them back in the air quicker. Importantly now, the operators should have maintenance support at the airport of their chosen operation. This saves them having to reposition the aircraft, uh, reduce fuel burn, reduce, reduce losing the aircraft out of service for a period of time whilst positioning to other airports. Well, you don't have to fly out somewhere else because that costs you money, it costs you time, you have to then move crews around. Construction work on Monarch's new hangar will start in January and it'll be finished by 2013. Mark off with that report.